Hello everyone and welcome back to DCS once again. First and foremost, forgive my microphone. I don't know what's going on with it, but we're just we're just gonna deal with it once we get going in our uh, exercise for today. Shouldn't even notice it. Anyway, what is our exercise for today? Today we're gonna be looking at air to air, um, I guess radar operation as well as weapons deployment with the F-16C which is one of my favorite aircraft, in case you haven't noticed. This is just your base tutorial. Um, if you buy the module of the F-16, this is the mission that you're given. I'm just going to show a couple of different ways to deploy your AIM-120Cs. I think they're Cs. They might be Bravo models. I don't remember. I guess I could check the... Uh... No, eh, well, yeah, well, we'll figure it out. Um, it's either Charlie or Bravo models. So we're going to be deploying those. I'll show you a couple of different ways on um, drawing a craft for deployment. Um, then once we've lightened up the aircraft a little bit, have a couple of missiles left, we'll uh, fight against a live target and see how that goes. Let's begin. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Air combat I, uh, airspace is located straight Slow the sim down on accident. Aircraft I didn't mean to do that. Different altitudes to allow practice right. attacks with different weapons. That's something I really hope they uh, fix soon. Is the uh, light uh, external lights automatically? All right, so you can already see we're getting some radar returns up ahead. Those are the drone aircraft. We'll go ahead and select air to air mode, and then I'm going to switch our radar to track while scan. Get the aircraft trimmed out a second here. It's, a little bit. it's not too bad. And then I'm going to reduce my radar scan range to three bars, because I don't really need to see anything too far out to the sides of this. So you can see I already have a radar return up ahead. I'm going to go ahead and push TMS forward once to go ahead and lock him up. I'm also going to turn on my Hemix, just in case. I don't think we'll really need to deploy with the 120. It's a BVR missile. And then I'm going to push uh, TMS forward once more, and that will... Just kidding, he disappeared on me. That'll hard lock me. So now I've got new symbology on my HUD, you can see, and he's gone. Okay, well, <laughs> in the meantime, we'll start with what we've got here. So obviously we have our AIM-120Cs selected, six of them. Um, this big circle on our HUD here is our... Radar's cone of vision on the actual missile, and we'll, that'll come into play in a little bit here, but we'll go ahead and lock up a target first. So I've got one more additional target I can see here on my radar. We'll go ahead and lock him up, like so. Then that circle shrinks. Our symbology changes a little bit. I have... I'm actually going to pause here. So on the right-hand side, I have this tape here. That is my effective range for my missile, and then I have my actual range to target out here on the right as well. Obviously, our box is our target that we're targeting. Our circle is going to be the missile steering capability, and then you have this smaller circle here, um, which is where you actually want to aim this larger circle. That's going to give the missile the best effective... Um, chance of hitting your target. Um, outside of that, there's not a whole lot that we're going to need as far as firing. Obviously, we have our basic stuff for our airspeed, altitude, uh, mock, stuff like that. You can see we've got six MRMs loaded. Um, so we're going to go ahead, unpause here. I'm going to fly that smaller circle inside of the larger one. And we're just fighting against drone aircraft, those uh, target F5s. So we do have our target hard locked. And he's gone again. Good lord. Struggling. Oh, radar return. Or uh, RWR, rather. Oh, I had him for a second. There he is. Go ahead and relock. accelerate a little bit so now you can see our circle starting to widen and you can see our tape here for our range has moved down I'm gonna wait until it gets close to this uh, bulls here Let's see that circle will continue to increase in size increasing 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 
And now we're actually within a good effective range on a non-maneuvering target like this one. So I'm going to Fox, Fox 3. Then I'm going to unlock. So we're unlocked. That missile is already out, locked onto that F5. And then you may have seen, if I go to the external camera here, we have another F5 just below us. Um, he's trailing red smoke. So what I'm going to do for that guy is I'm not going to bother locking him with my radar or anything like that. I'm going to keep him inside of that large circle, that missile um, radar detection cone. And I'm going to fire a missile known as what's Pitbull. Basically, it's going to lock onto the nearest radar return that it has, and it's going to follow that radar return, and it's going to explode. doesn't care if it's a friendly or an enemy. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you're firing because without a previous radar lock and you're not using your um, FFID. So let's go ahead and roll inverted here. Unpause. And we're going to fire at Pitbull. It's not going to have the best chance. But you can see it did find the F5. It did track. Let's see if we get a splash. Boom. Easy clap. You can see that other F5 looks like he got hit. It's trailing what looks like fuel. Yeah, now he's nose diving. So those are the basics. Um, very easy weapon to deploy, in my opinion. Um, there's really nothing to it. And those are the two basic firing modes. There's your um, single target track, and then your pit bull. You can, um, with the F-16, actually, like the famous. WAG's video before this aircraft was fully, um, well I guess it's still not fully released, but anyway, before it was um, further out of infancy than it is now, um, you can actually select TMS right on a wave of aircraft that you might have out in the distance. In this specific case, it's not going to work too well if we were to give that a try. So what I will do now, go ahead and climb a bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and spawn a live threat. And we're going to watch our RWR. There it is. MiG-29 and or SU-27. Sure, our radar is at a good inspection altitude. Just going to go out four zero miles. There he is. We're going to go track while scan on him. Wait till he gets a little bit closer. Go ahead and climb a bit. The thinner the air that we have for our missile, the better chance it's going to have um, during its motor phase to gain as much speed and as much energy, which is what we want. I've actually got a visual on him now. He's putting out a nice contrail for us. He's locking us. We're going to lock him back. You can see our cone is opening. And Fox 3. We're going to fire first. Hopefully he will go defensive and not fire at us. It doesn't look like it. Go ahead and watch that missile. That's not how you want to go defensive, buddy. Let's see if we get a splash on him. If not, we'll get another one out. This is cruising at 1200. He did ditch it. So we'll go ahead, fire another Fox 3 at him so he doesn't snapshot us. Fox 3. Additional missile out. Popping shaft. Ah, he splashed. You can see the uh, smoke trail or er, fuel, something to that effect. Let's watch him crash. Yeah, he's he's done. So, did he punch out? Yeah, he punched out. So that first missile, I actually might have hit him. Crash into the lake bedded area 51, it looks like. All enemy aircraft have been destroyed. Heck yeah, they have. Exit the mission or return to base. Easy. 
So since we still have some weapons on board, I think we've got one on each wing tip. Go ahead and see if we can't splash the other F5. Gotta find the guy first. There's its floor. There he is. Alright, let's put the missile into an overshoot where it probably will not have a chance. Fox 3. Yeah, there's no way that's gonna hit him. Way too much speed. I stand corrected. The AM120C never ceases to amaze me. It's pilot dead. That's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, let's spawn another drone. Let's get a fuel quantity check. Center tank's empty. Got plenty of, uh, on board. Going to a quick burn. Again, that last one was just a snapshot, didn't lock him with our radar, just put him right into bore sight, fired, missile automatically locked. Right, there's some targets. Oh, and he's on my RWR for whatever reason. Alright, so be it. So go ahead and lock this guy to our left. Right, so we're right on that bulls. Give the missile the best effective range. Box 3. Okay, we are now out of 120s. Our drone targets are just punched out. Other one crashed. Alright, we'll call it a day there. That's the AIM-120. It's a very easy weapon to utilize. It's also very dangerous if you deploy it in the wrong ways. So just be careful when you are aiming, make sure you're calling your Fox 3s. That's the last thing you want to do is lock up a friendly. But that's why we use our FFID, right? Not if you're playing the same online server as I do. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one, you guys. I will catch you in the next video. I am just miserably attempting to... Uh, bring the aircraft back around here and all I'm doing is just hemorrhaging airspeed. So I will catch you in the next one. As always, take it easy. Altitude, 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 altitude.